ladies and gentlemen. How is, how is everybody today? Uh, today is Tuesday, I think. Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, this is Art Talk. We are live on Facebook as of right this moment, uh, unless you're watching it later on the day, and it's not live. Uh, hi, Tina. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, this is Art Talk, episode 279. Dawn, good morning. Good to see you. Always got to work on framing. Uh, I do this at the last second. Uh, it's fine. Good deal. Lighting's okay. A little bit uh, hot in certain areas. I think this one too. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, cool. All right. We are uh, uh, we are shooting with two cameras. It's a little weird to see my face twice, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, we're moving uh, moving forward today. Uh, not a lot of uh, interest stuff today, but uh, we'll get into today's subject right quick. What's up? Uh, Gelman, good morning. Good to see you. Uh, this is Art Talk. Uh, I am Fireball. I'm your host, and we do this every weekday morning, Pacific Standard Time at 8 a.m. from Malibu, California, and uh, we're here to try and help you guys be creatively strong, creatively powerful in a time where we are being challenged. Uh, but it's a, it's a challenge that is actually a gift, isn't it, Greg Gill? Uh, this is an extraordinary gift that we've been given in a, a strange sort of way. Uh, sure, there are people that are sick and people that are... Um, uh, going, having a hard time, having a difficult time. Uh, but it's important that we try to figure out a way to look at what's going on in the world from the highest vantage point, from the best vantage point. Uh, and um, been experimenting with some things a little bit just to kind of see, gauge reactions to stuff and, and uh, performed a few things the other day. Uh, got a lot of interesting feedback uh, where people's mindset is. And I'm certainly uh, uh, feeling it going, just going up into town and seeing people uh, uh, meander about and do their thing. Tensions are very high. Uh, the, the knot, uh, the rope is being pulled very taut, very taut right now. So it's important that we spend our time uh, doing the things that we love and releasing and uh, uh, trying to find things that... Um, uh, allows us to uh, uh, keep our head screwed on correctly, as they say. Uh, okay, so uh, book of the day, Maritime. Uh, if you have not picked up our Maritime book, this one is probably our only coloring book. It's Maritime Adventures, coloring book. Uh, it's our only book that kind of has a story to it. And uh, it's the story of uh, this young lady. Uh, where, is, where is she? Oh, I got it, I got it. Uh, pirate Lady. Uh, that goes out to sea, has an adventure, and uh, this is her ship right here, and uh, kind of what happens during that adventure as a coloring book. So uh, pretty cool. I'm very excited about this book. Uh, this was one of our earlier books. Uh, a lot of the books are getting changed um, since I'm taking this time to uh, to redo a lot of the covers and things like that. So they're they look uh, they look better and uh, kind of upgrade things. So Maritime Adventures. That's our. One of our maritime books. A lot of these, this particular book, is available at maritime museums and aquariums and things like that. Uh, but not right now because they're all closed. You know. But you can you can get them on Amazon. Uh, so uh, pick up a book if you want to do some coloring. Uh, vlog number nine hundred and eighty-two just went up this morning. Uh, Nineteen fifty-nine Cadillac. If uh, I mean, who doesn't like that car? Everybody likes that car. It's 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 incredible. One of the most incredible designs probably in the history of automotive design. Uh, huge fins, and uh, everybody loves that car. So check that out when you can. That's at our uh, on our um, YouTube channel, Fireball Tim, or Fireball Malibu Vlog. Uh, greetings from work, being sneaky. Shh, don't tell anybody. Josh is actually working. Good on you, buddy. Well, at least you're, you're at work. You're not necessarily working now, but I won't tell anybody. I don't have a phone number. I don't know who I'd call. I don't even know where you work. Uh, tensions are high. I did mention that. Uh, went up into town yesterday and pulled into a parking space. And as I got on out, I put my mask on to go into CVS or where the hell I was going. And uh, some lady was standing next to our car and she decided just to go off on me, just to kind of let me have it. And at first I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. I was just sitting, standing there and she was just ranting and screaming at me and, and, uh, and I came to the conclusion as she was uh, yelling at me uh, that I uh, I almost hit her, which I, I didn't because I pulled into the space. She said I ripped into the space uh, and I had to take that space and just like a, a lot of this uh, influx of stuff. 
And I realized in that moment I had to make a choice. And the choice was, what do I want? And I wanted to go into CVS, which I think is where I was going to, to go and get a dog brush. Uh, and uh, I didn't want to have an argument with her. So my my understanding of what it is that I wanted, and I'm, the reason I'm bringing this up is it's important that a lot of the art talks we talk about is that people are not happy because they don't necessarily gauge what it is they want on the back end. They just engage with the the things that are coming at them. They react. So yesterday I had an opportunity to practice, and I practiced, and I said, uh, you know, what is it that I want? Uh, I want to go into the store. So I immediately apologized to her. What does it matter? I don't, I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, Kathy and I were both in the car. We didn't rip into a space. We didn't almost hit anybody. In fact, I saw her as I was moving in, but she didn't want to hear that. So uh, um, I just apologized and said, uh, I'm sorry. I hope you're okay. And she she went from being at a 10, like ready to let me have it, to suddenly down to a, a two. And she just said, I appreciate that. You know, and she got in her car and she left and, and I went into the store and I got my dog brush. <laughs> so that was, that worked out pretty well. Um, but my point is that, you know, people are, are, are certainly um, taught uh, like, like nice little tight buns, as they say in gold member. Uh, toit, right? Uh, so, so it's important that we don't act that way and that those that are acting that way and they're having a hard time that we don't engage. Uh, and uh, uh, that's, that's important. So, uh, uh, also, we are on YouTube now with the Art Talks, which is very cool. I'm very excited about that. So you not only can watch it on Facebook Live, if you missed the live version, you can watch it on Facebook later. But the next day, it's not available uh, as easily, as readily. Uh, so in some of our past Art Talks are not available, certainly. So uh, we're putting them on YouTube so that they can be accessed at any time if you want to go back. Uh, today's subject, how to be more confident as a creative person. How to be more confident as a creative person. Uh, so uh, let's get into that for a second. I hear some grinding going on, some blending. I think there's juice coming. I'm excited about that because uh, uh, it, my, my goal is to be supremely healthy. And I have my, my wife to thank for that. Uh, Lawrence Flinton, Dawn, good to see you. Uh, uh, poor woman, clearly having issues. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, who else? Josh, XPO Logistics. We're a trucking company. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. XPO. What does that stand for? Extra... Uh, P.O. Yeah, I don't know. I bet you don't even know that. Uh, I bet you, uh, you know, I went, uh, as a side note, I went to a NASCAR event and I asked people on camera what NASCAR stood for. Nobody knew. Uh, the best answer was National Association of Speedy Cars Are Racing. That was the best one. <laughs> Good morning. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's kind of pink. Look at that color. Yeah. How are, how is my kitty this morning? I'm good. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Oh, a little tangy. Orange juice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Protein powder. Protein milk. But something different than yesterday. Strawberries. Yeah. Ah. Thus, the warm color. Strawberries. Delicious. And they're huge. They're the big uh -huh. kinds. Yep. Bye. Thank you. Don't get too close to me. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Come on, bug. Bye, bug. Oh, I should have worn my pink hat. I know. Really, look at that. What an outfit right there. <laughs> All right. See you later. How do I look? Yeah, you look pretty pink. Yeah. <laughs> I should definitely go out like that today. I will. Yeah, okay. I live with a 12-year-old. Yeah, it's, that's the truth. That's the truth. But the other side of the truth is I'm 14. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> we've been together nicely. Uh, how to be more confident as a creative person. Well, let's let's talk about this because, um, as you know, here on Art Talk, episode 279, we do this Facebook Live, uh, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, Malibu, California. I just got to throw that in there. Um, as we have mentioned on our talk in previous art talks, uh, we start up here. We start up here in the obvious, right? It's important to be confident as a creative person, right? Okay, it helps. Confidence helps, and uh, and it, you you understand you know why is it important to be confident? Well, then you can get jobs and you can make money and you can have a nice life and blah blah blah, right? That's the typical answer. You can get that anywhere, but that's not what we do here on art talk. What we do here is we dive in deep, we dive in deep, we dive into the mindset, we dive into uh, the the uh, the single central core, the germ, 
the original germ connected to source uh, to understand uh, what a confidence actually is. What, you know, wh what is it? How does it grow? Uh, where does it come from? Uh, and, you know, not so much why it's important to have it, because we, we know why it's important to be confident. There's a, a fly. Would you please go fly somewhere else? Thank you. Sorry. Uh, best way to describe this, because I wrote it a little bit backwards. Uh, um, our goal, you know, in, uh, confidence comes from experience. Uh, you do something uh, once, you're not really 100% sure exactly how to do it. And uh, you try it, you fuck it up, and uh, you make some mistakes, and you try it again, and you keep trying it. And eventually you figure it out, and now you know that it works, but you're still not necessarily confident, so you repeat it over and over and over. And just when you're done repeating it, you repeat it some more, right? And then so confidence really comes from uh, repetition, it comes from experience. It comes from doing the same thing over and over again and getting better and better at it. So uh, the first thing to understand in craving confidence is that it's very difficult, very challenging to be confident uh, to do something uh, for the first time, right? People try and people try to represent themselves as being confident. Uh, like uh, as an example, you get a, a job for the first time and if you allow your ego to get the better of you, you come across like a know-it-all. And uh, uh, because you're a little bit scared, you're a little bit afraid that people might find you out, find, might find out the truth, that you don't know what the shit you're talking about. You have no clue, right? There's certain things I'm incredibly confident about. And there's certain things I don't know anything, like XPO trucking. I don't know anything, X XPO logistics. I know nothing. I'm the most unconfident. Ask me anything about that subject, about that trucking company, and I'll tell you the only thing I know is it's got three letters, and it, and it deals with trucks, which got to be cool because trucks are cool. I doubt they're like classic Chevys, right, Josh? They're probably trucks that carry a bunch of crap in them. But I don't know what they carry. It could be watermelons. It could be uh, uh, logistical equipment. I don't even know what that means, right? So experience. When you drive a car for the first time when you're 16 and take a driver's test, uh, you, have, you have no clue. You're just hoping that you don't run off the road and kill everybody in the car. Remember in the days when you did your driver's test at school and you had like four or five people? Um, I did that in 19, uh, uh, well, I don't know what year it was, but I, I, I got in the car with four of the people, including the driver's ed person, and we drove out towards, I was up in Ohio, and we drove out to towards Lake Casitas, and uh, it was scary. It was scary uh, uh, for me to drive the first time and then have people in the car. But what was more scary than that, significantly more scary than that, was the other people that were driving that did not drive as well as I had driven. Now, I had a chance to practice. I had older brothers and sisters, and uh, I grew up learning to drive pretty early on. You know, 14 or so is when I learned to drive. So by the time I was 16, I, I pretty much knew how to do it. But I was driving a car that that it wasn't my car, and I was driving in an area, and I also had these people in the car, so I was a, a bit nervous about it. But you get you get someone else behind the wheel, especially when they're looking between the the steering wheel and the dashboard, and that that's how tiny they are. And then you drive with them. That that was like I I don't I don't think I'm gonna make it through this, right? So that was that was my freak out experience, you know. But through repetition, through comp uh, with repetition uh, in driving you get a little bit better. And then I remember the first time I got on, on a racetrack and I drove really slow because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And then over time, uh, you get better and better and better. And eventually some people become pro drivers and become experienced and, and their confidence uh, 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 um, uh, increases. And as a creative person, your creativity can be a, as a pro driver. Your creativity can be as a gardener. Right? You try things out and you plant something doesn't doesn't grow and then you, you go like why didn't this grow? So you learn and then you you expand and you move on. But here's the, the thing about confidence is that confidence, of course, is built on repetition as a creative person. Uh, but the number one thing that you have to welcome that most people don't when it comes to building confidence is mistakes. You don't welcome mistakes. People are afraid of mistakes because if they fuck up, then they think they're gonna look bad. They're gonna they're gonna feel bad. They're gonna yeah. Ultimately, that's really what it comes down. To. You're gonna feel bad. You're gonna feel bad about yourself. You can feel bad about uh, you know look like a fool, like a dope. You know any other word you want to come up with. 
you know. Uh, and uh, and the 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 thing about building confidence is that uh, confidence cannot be built. It's impossible to build confidence without making mistakes because you cannot do things right every time. It's impossible to do things right every time as you're building something, as you're building a business, as you're doing a piece of art. Uh, you can look back at your art a year ago and you can say, if you kept on going, that you are better. You're significantly better. Uh, you can, you're not going to necessarily that, say that those are mistakes, but you're going to understand that you're coming from it from a certain perspective and you don't want to show people the that work. Like, I wouldn't recommend that you go back and watch uh, the first hundred vlogs that I did because I, I really didn't know what I was doing. I really had no idea, even though I had been in the film industry and I had directed movies and all kinds of stuff, I had never done a first person series, which is what a vlog is. And it, it, it's something that has to grow and you have to get more experience and understand what works and what doesn't work, what does the audience enjoy, what do they think is stupid. Uh, and, and through that process, I gained more confidence and got better at it. And that, that's kind of how it works. Uh, Bill Karen, Cindy Vines Brenneman, thanks for joining us. Hello to you. Uh, Dan Jewell, good to see you. Michael Mugitz. Uh, Pete Hawk, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us today on Art Talk episode 279. So uh, repetition, uh, uh, it, the, the desire to learn every day, the desire to learn. If, you know, the, the reason a lot of people are having a hard time in this, this uh, 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 virus thing that's happening right now is that before this all started, they were kind of on the fence about their purpose. Uh, they were trying to maybe in a process of trying to figure things out, trying to uh, get a new job, trying to, they just retired and now what are they going to do with their lives? Uh, they don't necessarily have a lot of money, so they got to do something about that. Old blogs are fun to watch. No, no, the old blogs are not fun to watch. Uh, they're painful to watch, Lawrence. So uh, you can watch them, but I don't recommend it. You know, watch the new stuff. Uh, but, you know, once again, uh, confidence is built that way. Same thing with you, man. As a chef, when you first started chefing, uh, you you uh, you made a lot of dishes that I'm sure sucked, that was that was pretty nasty, uh, you know, where you, you accidentally used too much of this or too much of that or something that you, you weren't supposed to have or you experiment and things like that. But through that confidence, you get really good at what you do and your confidence uh, builds and grows. And then, and then you turn into a badass like Lawrence, who's a, a incredible chef. Uh, so uh, it's important to, to want to learn every day. And as a creative person, um, the reality is that we are all creative. We are all the same. Uh, we all have our uh, uh, a desire to have a purpose in life and a desire to express ourselves creatively. Some of us uh, express ourselves through um, uh, uh, some type of artistry. Uh, yeah, uh, sucked ass. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, it, it all it all depends. You know, art is um, art is really our ability to express ourselves in a three dimensional capacity. It could be through food, it could be through photography, through uh, uh, gardening, through building a house, building a car, building a business, building a, a, a building, uh, anything, anything. Uh, we are creative beings. Uh, our, our purpose is to create, and that's what our world is. You know, this whole room is filled with things that people created. My hats, someone had to design and create a hat, and then I bought the hat. Uh, uh, someone had to design and, and create the... Uh, die cast or or this printer machine or you know uh, anything this shirt uh, you know uh, things are created and as human beings that's our job and we have an opportunity we have an incredible opportunity right now as a gift there are many things that we cannot do many things that we are we are not uh, allowed to do not able to do uh, so we have to concentrate on what we can do and we might as well get busy getting some shit done uh, things that we had put off in the past, uh, now's an opportunity, now's the gift. You are being given the time. If you wanna read more, read more. If you wanna listen to more music, listen to more music. If you wanna create more music, create more music. If you want to uh, uh, design something, uh, as soon as all of this stuff is over, which it is going to be, it's going to be over soon, you know, uh, however long this thing takes, it doesn't really matter. When it's over, and we have the ability to go back to car shows and we have the ability to, to, to live our lives normally, go back to work, however. Uh, you better be ready. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the things that you've been working on. Because if you have not spent this time to, to create, uh, to build up that, that snowball, 
I'm not sure that's a great analogy, uh, but uh, build up the momentum so that when uh, things can't turn back on and you press that, that ignition button, uh, you're going to be in rock and roll time. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be an exciting time. That's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, I have I've built up a habit of, of looking forward to exciting things that I get to participate in. As an example, tomorrow a new car comes in, the Mazda goes away, 2020 Mazda uh, Miata MX-5. That goes away. Uh, uh, some kind of Volkswagen is coming in. I'm looking forward to that. Friday, Abigail, my, my granddaughter Abigail, who was in today's vlog, uh, she comes back. So we get her every single Friday and Saturday. That's exciting. So I get to look forward to that. I get to look forward to the, the Camaro book that's coming out, the Camaro coloring book that we're doing. Uh, I get to look forward to seeing you guys. Can't wait to see you guys when the car shows kind of kick in. So there's lots of wonderful things and exciting things as creative people we get to look forward to. We have to make sure that we don't uh, dwell on the things that are happening uh, around us, the negativity and the people and the, the, uh, the things that can drop us down and keep our mind, keep a, a diligent watch over our conscious mind uh, 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 with the things that we, we want to focus on. We want to, as creative people, we want to concentrate on uh, so that the negativity does not seep into our subconscious. So repetition, learning every day, um, welcoming mistakes. That's a big one. That's a really big one. Welcoming mistakes today. So go out there, go big. Make some big fucking mistakes today. Huge, enormous Go out there and, I mean, don't, don't, if you're gardening, don't cut your finger off. You know, that would be bad, you know, but like, like plant something you've never planted before. Uh, push your envelope a bit. If you, if you normally are taking pictures of, of people, uh, which many people are, you know, they, they, they're uh, uh, portrait photographers. They can't take pictures of people right now, right? So what can you take pictures of? Yeah, your cat right? Uh, what can you take pictures of that you could possibly monetize later? What could you, uh, uh, Lawrence, uh, creating a uh, potential for, for clients, clientele, is uh, to be able to send out an e-blast to people that you know uh, that might want a personal chef later on. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Now, I don't know what XPO Trucking might do, but I'm, I'm sure they're going to do something, right? Uh, but now's the time to uh, build lists, uh, list build, list build. Now, now's the time to, uh, if you're a business and you want to um, uh, get your products out there, now's the time to give shit away for free. Now's the time to, to build your list. Now's the time to, uh, uh, to build momentum, okay? So that's what I want you guys to concentrate on. Uh, build the mindset, right? Build the right mindset. So when we're ready to pull the trigger, you're off, off and run, Whoosh, okay? Um, something uh, that I mentioned uh, uh, earlier in an earlier art talk, uh, something about Kathy. Good morning, Ma Ronnie. Uh, morning and happy Tuesday. Yes, it is. Is it Tuesday in Amsterdam? What time is it there? If that's where you are. I don't know. I, I know that in Australia, it's like the next day. I don't know exactly, you know, Europe-wise exactly how far it is. I think it's probably, wait, it's not that far, I guess. Kathy, um, a lot of people have fear of what's going on. But, and, and it's important to not try to get rid of that fear. Uh, it's important to cope with it. But don't let the fear stand in front of you. Jack Canfield said, feel the fear and do it anyway. Just, you know, you just get shit done. Get shit done. If, you, if you're scared to leave the house, um, uh, uh, you don't want to do that, then, you know, uh, look out your window, go out on your balcony, look out, enjoy it, uh, and then get busy. Get, uh, get back to uh, uh, being creative and doing the things that you, you can do to... Um, uh, expand and enhance your life in, in any way that it's possible. Okay. So remember, remember that there is a countdown. There is a countdown that happening. And, uh, my countdown is happening by, uh, Abigail in, um, uh, on Friday, but there is a countdown for this virus thing. It's all going to be over. And when it's over, we're going to be able to pull the trigger and do all the things that we want. Okay. What are you drinking? This is, uh, Kathy made a, a juice today. It's kind of separating at the moment. It's, um, orange juice, strawberries, protein, milk, which is a uh, plant-based protein, uh, and the same thing for the powder. Uh, it's delicious. It doesn't really look all that good at the moment. Everything's kind of separating, but it's delicious. All right, have your juice today. Have a spectacular day today, guys. It's Tuesday. This is Our Talk, episode 279. Uh, if this is something that you feel is valuable, I hope that you'll consider sharing it. 
Uh, we are, uh, again, uh, once again, we are on YouTube, so you can go there, you can watch the episode if you watched, if you missed the, the first part of it, or if you happen to watch it on a, uh, a subsequent day, all right? Have a spectacular day today, guys, and uh, we will see you on Wednesday. Uh, lots of good stuff coming. All right, thanks for watching.